EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From Wolf Creek Golf Club in Mesquite, Nevada, live opening round coverage of the Desert Championship. We've got a full field ready to get rolling on this Thursday as we get a look at the early leaderboard. We've currently got a tie at the top at five under par. Nice way to start off here in Mesquite, Nevada at Wolf Creek with a par five. It's 579 yards and good views with those elevated tees. There's a good start, that one in the fairway here to get the tournament rolling. So into week two now, that first tournament in many ways about dealing with the nerves, the first ever professional tournament. Uh, Nota, what do you typically take away after that first week? You, you didn't put everything together, but you did get your feet wet. Certainly, and you have to look at the history of the Corn Ferry Tour, and many a player have struggled early in the year, but have still gone on to garner one of those spots in the top 25, which is critical at the year end. And this is just a learning experience. You gotta pick and choose your moments, when to uh, be aggressive and when to stick to your guns. And in this particular case, got off to a slow start, and maybe this is a week they can build on. Oh, that second shot just ran out of fairway, but still, nice little pitch shot and a good chance to make four at the par five. That is really skillful there. Not much to this one. It's for birdie. Okay, a well-played hole there. It is birdie to kick off the round. And she'll quickly get it to one under par. Frank, you need to be a bit of a rock climber just to get to this second tee. 445-yard hole. What a view. Ready to tee off here at the second hole. Quite a view from up here, Frank. Once again, uh, big elevated tee. And it's hard to imagine you have a tee that high up, but uh, that'll shorten that 445 yards. Obviously, it's a dog leg left. Um, you've got to be careful if you hit driver and two straight because then you can run out. Um, a nice tee shot in the middle there, and then you've got a, a relatively straight shot into this sort of par four green, obviously going a little bit back up the hill. And once again, a little bit like that opening hole, sort of different tiers on that green. Try and make sure that you're on the right one. That one going to be in great shape. So following the birdie at one, a solid drive here at the second. Frank, what do you think about this approach here at the second hole? Once again, we're going to go a little bit back up the hill. Uh, really, there's only that one bunker on the right. That shouldn't be in play. Green goes uphill and a little bit to the left. Uh, so 
you really got to try and make sure you work on the right distance there, get that ball on the right tier where the flag is located. Ah, good approach shot. And birdie putt coming up. But, uh, approach shot just a little right, a little short. That finished off for par here at the second. And she'll stay one under for the tournament. Now to one of the toughest par threes you're going to find at 227 yards. Just reaching the green is an accomplishment here. It's a full 90 yards uphill from the black tees to the putting surface. And the uphill shot there, difficult to judge, and that will wind up short. The tee shot left her here on the par three, now a long one for her second. Whizzes past the hole. A difficult putt coming now. from about eight feet. Okay, that one finished off for a five here at the par three. And she's gonna fall here to plus one. 383 yard fourth hole, certainly not long, Frank, but there's plenty of trouble out there. Yeah, this is very much a positional hole. This is not sort of tee it up with a driver and just uh, rip it down. It's just find the fairway. You're gonna have virtually just a short. And uh, really, this is a good chance for a birdie. So two good shots and you shouldn't be too far away. It's so hard to bounce back after a huge score, especially when you're still reeling from it. But try and pull the screws back, back in the head there. Just take a little breath, maybe two. Decent swing. Don't try and kill it. Exactly like that. Really good shot. Uh, really 
nothing wrong with that approach shot. Just a little shy of where you'd like to finish up, but still, one good putt, maybe a birdie. Good stroke, just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four, and she'll stay at one over. We're in the desert, partner. I need water. You're gonna get it here, Rich. Par five second, I've got a nice stream that runs down the left side, as well as cutting the fairway. There's a crop of uh, some three bunkers down that right side. I want to avoid that, but, you know, Rich, this hole isn't too long. Under 500 yards, not even going to play that long. So very reachable. I'll tell you what, that swing absolutely perfect and a good result as well. Now, after the big drive, this a good distance here for a second to the par five. That second shot got all the way down by the green, but in the bunker. So we'll have to see what the explosion shot can do from here. We really need a birdie right now. All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with birdie still in play.
Not a good hole of golf here. It is that time to pick up and move on. This is an excellent hole here at Wolf Creek, the par 4-6, 447 yards. If you're going to hit driver off the tee, keep in mind there is a creek out there, and that approach is uphill to a hard green. This hole's all you want. They call that position A. That's going to be right down the middle. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. Yeah, she's looking at 121 yards to the hole to date. And the pin, it's in the front portion of the green. Ah, it's a good shot, but it does leave that little uphill putt, so that one will be slow. 19 feet away. <laughs> nah, that's not going to come back enough. That'll stay on the high side. Safely in for par here at the sixth. And she's going to remain at plus four. Maybe the best risk-reward hole here at Wolf Creek is right here at the par four seven. It is, without question, drivable at 302 yards. However, getting that tee shot to stay on the green can often be a different story. We see plenty of shots go over the back, leaving an incredibly difficult pitch shot off the desert floor. Yeah, very controlled shot there with the iron on this short par four, and that's going to be just fine. She will not be happy with that, as that is into the water. So she'll find a nice spot to take her drop, and now adding in the penalty stroke, she'll ready for her fourth shot.
Okay, not particularly close, but a chance for the putter to do its thing. And this will be a five-foot putt here. Yeah, that's good roll, and that in for a six here at the par four. And that's gonna move her down to six over par. We arrive now at the beautiful but treacherous par three eighth, another one of Wolf Creek's signature holes, playing a stout 248 yards with a creek that wraps around the green from front to back. Important to hit your mark here. Okay, center of the green, good shot. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. And not a particularly demanding putt here. Maybe slightly down an incline, but it is dead straight. Mm, not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. Okay, that in four par here at the eight. And that's gonna keep her at plus six. Stepping up to the shot here at the ninth, it's a par four, 390 yards. It is anything other than straight off the tee because of all these sort of undulations and curvature on the fairway. Uh, you'd think well bunk it, but the last bunker on the right side there, longer hitters, they can nearly fly that, just over 300 yards. Uh, either that shorter hitter just played that fat area of the green. That'll be sort of some, uh, you know, 270 yards that will take all the water out of play into a green that slopes back at you. Uh, so very good chance, even with a wedge in hand, to get the ball close. A good way to finish the front nine. Yeah, all about hitting the fairway here, and that is right where you want to be. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. Another example there of the struggle today. Iron shots just not getting in close enough and another difficult two-putt. Well hold, that's in for her par at the nine. And that's gonna mean this is a 42 on the front side, six shots over par. Starting the back side here at Wolf Creek with a 472 yard par four tenth. One of the rare, relatively flat tee shots. Lake and bunkers on the left, 
brush on the right, but the landing area is wider than it looks, so anywhere on the short stuff is good. It's best we forget about the front line. Let's start afresh here. Now this from 166 yards out. Miss hit, wrong club. What happened there, Frank? All of the above, maybe. That's a little bit of a head scratcher. It wasn't that hard a shot. Oh, man. Boy, it's been one of those days. You think the golf guys are against you. Oh. Mm. Okay, finished off there for double bogey. And she'll fall even further here to eight over par. Frank, another really rugged hole. This is the par 311th here at Wolf Creek. Rich, remember that book, uh, Dead Solid Perfect? This is what this hole's all about, because you must hit that tee shot solid. You've got to carry all the trouble in front of you. And remind yourself, too, there's enough green grass down there. Not necessarily green, but green grass around there. A good shot safely on the putting service here. And, and this green's not too severe. But uh, this is a fun par three just to look at, or even at least experience. Mm, didn't play the wind very well there, and that's going to wind up too strong and over the green. Now this, one to pop up there and get rolling. This is a 16-footer. Oh, nothing routine about that one. Well done to roll it in for par. And that's going to keep her at plus eight. From a par three to a par five. Here at the 12th, it measures 560 yards. A sweeping dog leg left, and there is some trouble down that left side. This is a scary tee shot. There's no two ways about it, Rich. Um, you've got to get the ball in play because you, you can really rack up a good score here. That water very much in play. doesn't matter what club you decide to hit off the tee. 560 yards actually is reachable, believe it or not. 
but uh, you know, you've got to get it on the fairway. You don't really have to be too brave and try and take too much over there. The other thing, too, to consider about is, is this green is nearly half the length of an NFL football field. It's 55 yards from the front of this green to the back of the green. No fairway here, this one in that rough. Okay, that'll help the cause. It's a birdie here at number 12. Well, this is all about temptation at 350 yards, this 13th here at Wolf Creek with a dog leg to the right. If you're a long hitter, you're thinking about it. Maybe you're gonna cut the dog leg and try to drive the green, but keep in mind, if you miss it to the right, wave goodbye to your golf ball. And no issues there. Good tee shot in the short grass. This looks to be at least an extra club, maybe two clubs going way up that hill to the green. Well, she should be happy with that shot. Good chance for birdie inside 20 feet. A birdie opportunity here at 13. And this certainly would be a bonus if it goes in. You just need to make sure you get it there and give yourself a chance. Never up, never in. Just five feet left. Oh, man. Boy, it's been one of those days. You think the golf gods are against you. Okay, that one finished off. It is a bogey here at unlucky number 13. And that will not help the cause. 
Now to the 14th hole, and Frank, this is probably the best par four here at Wolf Creek. Well, it's certainly the hole that they take the most photographs on, uh, and Rich, and you can see why. Great vantage point of the whole golf course. Uh, the hole's just sort of littered with bunkers down the left side. So you know where not to go once again. You go to the right side of that. Um, hole just keeps sort of hooking around that left side. Um, it plays under 450 yards. It's fun. Just sort of draw it a little off the tee, draw it a little into the green, and you'll be fine. All right, in the fairway. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. And more evidence why the Corn Ferry Tour is such a great breeding ground. The iron play like that is good enough for any PGA Tour event. Nope, I could have erased the bogey from the previous hole, but no dice there. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And her score is going to stay right where it is. We start our finishing stretch here at Wolf Creek with the 393 yard par 416. A good drive over a canyon is required. Two greenside bunkers must be avoided on the approach. All right, you don't have to catch it on the middle of the face every time. That's on the middle of the dance floor and a birdie putt coming up. That's a nice putt. Getting it there up the hill was half the battle. This got there just a little wide of the mark. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And her score is going to stay right where it is. All right, into the finishing stretch here at Wolf Creek with the par 4 16th at 393 yards. This one requiring a good drive over the canyon. If you do put that in play, You'll have a chance to make a birdie.
Yeah, nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Uh, this Noda, her second from the fairway. 109 yards left to the hole, pin sitting on the right. Sandwich in the air here, and it's drifting just right. That's got to be disappointing. Good line in the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. Boy, that needed to hit the flag stick. It nearly went in the hole, but instead, it runs out quite a ways. Oh, you're kidding. Ah, this game's unfair sometimes. That looked in the whole way. Okay, that in for a bogey at 16. Her slide continues. She'll drop to nine over par. Frank, you licking your chops here at the par five, 17th hole? Oh, why not? A chance to reach a par five and two, but there's still pitfalls in front of you. A little creek or stream runs across the fairway. So really limiting the distance you can hit that tee shot, but it's still reachable from just short of that uh, creek. Find trouble off the tee, then obviously you turn it into a three-shotter, but a good tee shot, and it's too tempting to resist not going for this green. While there's good bounces, there's bad bounces. That was a good one. Okay, you like to see that. It has been a tough day, no question about it. But that is a bright spot, Frank. Well, it was like it was raining through most of the day, and then all of a sudden the sun popped out, because this is a total change. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an eagle three. Superb. Finishing hole here at Wolf Creek is only 307 yards. Frank, where's the trouble here? Uh, short and to the right of this par four. Really, there's a multitude of options off this tee. You could hit an iron, you could hit a fairway wood. Even some might try and hit a driver, but uh, you know that's a little too risky. There's too many, uh, too many problems up ahead if you try and take this hole on. Really, a short club off the tee, um, leaving yourself some area of 170 yards, and, and you're going to be putting for birdie more often than not. Looking drive here right on the heels of the Eagle. That is right where you want to be. So after the big drive, this, a short approach to the par four.
uh, that is not good. But uh, the good news, you get to do it again. Might have stared at that one too long. Sometimes you, you just got to go with your gut. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And that will not help the cause. Frank, you and I have covered golf around the world. I have never seen anything... Thank you. 